interesting than I find myself to be I know that I might cause a scene But have you ever thought that might just be what I want? Did you hear about the time that I killed a guy? Or about the time I lied and said I killed a guy? I know that I don't want to be alone, no I don't want to be alone anymore than you do. You're watching Studiologia, featuring Skirkova. Seek truth, defend reason. Music for Studiologia is performed by Gokart Mozart and is used with permission. Hello YouTube! I hope everyone's having a great new year. What do we think of the new title intro? Uh, let me know in the comments section. It's part of a uh, rethinking of this channel that started a couple weeks ago with the name Studiologia and continues now into the new year. I'm not changing the topics I address with the possible exception of maybe broadening the scope of those topics just a little bit. Mostly this is sort of like our little uh, renaissance of production values that we're shooting for here. <clears throat> and to any of you who saw my last video, Michio Kaku and Flow Cell, that's the bar that we're going to be trying to reach from now on. Now, for some explanations and apologies, uh, we haven't been posting lately because of a tragic computer crash from which we have not properly even begun to recover yet. Bitbutter, in particular, I know is expecting a video response to George Ought to Help, and that is still on the agenda. Uh, unfortunately, all the work I put into that project is totally gone now. Uh, I'm forced to start over, but I insist. Bitbutter on giving your video the thoughtful response that it deserves, um, which will just take a little bit of time. Anyone who is watching this and hasn't seen Bitbutter's channel, I highly recommend you check it out. I don't really agree with uh, any of the views that, that are, I've seen, at least, expressed on that channel, but the thoughts are well expressed and the production is really, really excellent. I'll link that right here. Click that. You'll, uh, you'll be glad you did. Mike, over at Rational Roundtable, I just found out about your medical situation yesterday while catching up on my subscriptions, and I want to let it be known that Lil Ben and I, and anyone else who may or may not be behind the scenes here at Studiologia, wish you the best uh, and eagerly anticipate your making a full recovery. Take care of yourself, man. <clears throat> now to business. This is a response to Layton Way's video, American Anti-Americanism. And on a lighter note, to his series on sampling American foodstuffs. Hello, Layton Way. Uh, I'm a subscriber and fan of your channel. Uh, anyone watching this right now who's not familiar with Layton Way, you really should check him out. Link right here. Yeah. Yeah. Click that. Click that. You'll be glad you did. Now, I am an American, and furthermore, have sort of wandered the American political landscape for the last... Yeah. 10 or 12 years. Uh, no, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. He's really excited. Here, take this. As I was saying, I've sort of uh, wandered the political landscape of America for the last 10 or 12 years. Uh, in terms of political identity, I've been pretty much everything you can be without liking Fox News. Now, by no means am I an expert, uh, but I have thoughts about this, and I feel compelled to give an answer to your vexation at American self-hatred. I want to start by saying I agree with everything you said about Americans not being that bad of a people, and America not that bad of a place. More, it's right there. Uh, I like it here. Uh, the water is safe to drink. You know, we have Amtrak, the interstate highway system, the FDA, the ACLU, PBS, NPR, uh, muscle cars, microbreweries, NCAA cheerleaders, plus, you know, all my stuff is here. I also agree with what you said about patriotism not necessarily being a gateway drug, and there's a term I love, to nationalism. However, you have to realize that we, Americans, as a culture, we have kind of a, uh, a sketchy history with that distinction. We say the Pledge of Allegiance as little kids in school, man. I mean, forget about the under God controversy for a minute, and just focus on the implications of making little kids pledge their allegiance to a flag. They are swearing their loyalty to an inert symbol. And then there's the whole idea of American exceptionalism. People in my generation grew up being taught that America is just awesome by its very nature. <laughs> that no war could be won without us or lost with us, that freedom is inherently America and America is inherently free. 
uh, and we are just existentially the good guys. This lesson, fortunately for our nation's young, like little Ben here, is falling out of fashion. It has been for a while, and that's a good thing. But n now you have two things happening. First of all, you have the younger generation coming up with sort of broader views and clashing with the ingrained exceptionalism of the culture. And you also have the older generation sort of becoming cynical and jaded to it, and they're kind of rejecting it on their own. Thanks, but that's all you, bro. And it's not a left or a right thing either. You know, our liberal anti-Americans look at this country and they see bigotry and ignorance stymieing goodwill at every pass. The socialists see a free market experiment slaughtering the working man on the altar of profit. Libertarians see big brother socialism squelching the freedom of the individual. Uh, <clears throat> social conservatives see debauchery and immorality, if not the harbingers of the Antichrist himself. Now, I see myself as a left-leaning, by American standards, pragmatist, with a focus on recognizing the reality of the situation and reacting in a way intended to bring good outcomes. Mwah. That's not to say I'm necessarily successful at being that, but that's what I try to be. As it is, I, I think I do all right. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Now, on to the second part of this video. Um, any of you out there who do watch Layton Way will probably be familiar with his, uh, his ongoing series in which he tries American food. And uh, I want to, A, sort of give my thoughts on that, and B, little Ben and I are going to return the favor. A little bit. It's kind of hard. <clears throat> Just wait. Be patient. Be patient. Here's this for now. Hold on to this. We'll get to that. That's next. Don't worry. But first I want to say, um, I appreciate you trying the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Personally, I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I do think the bread matters. I think the bread matters. I like uh, Sara Lee, 100% whole grain, 45 calorie per slice, delightful bread. It's a very specific loaf of bread. That is my bread. And I think literally anyone who tries that bread will find it delightful, as the name suggests. But on the other hand, if you know, if you used Wonder Bread, which is pretty much as far from that as you can get without getting into the weird breads, um, you know, I'd still enjoy a peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwich. The fact that you didn't like Reese's Cups, in my opinion, the Americans watching that should have been like, oh, this dude obviously just does not feel the same way about flavors that we Americans do, and it was kind of unrealistic of anyone to expect that you would enjoy a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you didn't like peanut butter cups. There's re there really aren't that many people in America that don't like peanut butter cups. Although I admit that the peanut is way overused here, but that's because it's cheap. Um, <clears throat> almonds are pretty much better in, in every possible way, as are cashews and just about everything else. <clears throat> now, we have this. This is a Cadbury Caramello Bar. You can see that there. Um, it's about as British as I could find in my local area. And I've looked for a while. It's not like I didn't try. Uh, this is a product of the UK. Uh, most Americans are familiar with Cadbury, especially around Easter. The whole Cadbury bunny thing. And now, oh gosh, this is big. Um, I was thinking it'd be easier to get a small piece off a little bend here. So, let's try this. Here you go. Try not to make a mess on this cool jacket you got going on. Good job. Hmm. That's not bad. I'm not a big fan of caramel. Um. Which, you know... Caramel's kind of hit or miss with Americans. Some of us love it. Some of us don't love it. I'm one of the ones that don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, it's not bad. It's, as as caramel-filled chocolate goes, it's pretty good. Um, the milk chocolate in the bar, to me, tastes a lot like American milk chocolate. I'm not sure why... Your friends in your most recent video 
so we needed more milk in our chocolate. Tastes the same to me. Um, in fact, actually, I was under the impression that American milk chocolate was particularly milky. Uh, maybe I was wrong about that. I'm not even sure where I got that impression. Anyway, you go a little down. A little more? He likes it. Mm. Milk. Not bad. Not bad. I'd love to hear what British confections or foodstuffs you think I should try. You know, there's not really like a lot of British candy sold in America. It's not something that we are culturally thinking about all the time. Like, I mean, French wine or Italian wine or German yeah. wine. Um, <laughs> Turkish tobacco. Um, no. these are all things that we do, like, there are, are, are imports that we think about. I honestly don't know what the perception of American, like, what things you associate with coming from America over there. Uh, and so I don't know if candy and food generally, uh, snack food, is, is one of those things or not. But I can tell you that in America, at least, um, it's, it's tough to to find British candy um, or snack foods, uh, at least anything that, that you can recognize as being British. Uh, it took me a long time just to find that Cadbury bar. I had to go to some random gas station out in the middle of the sticks. Uh, now maybe maybe those Cadbury caramels are more prevalent elsewhere, but I mean if, I were, if, if you were from Switzerland or France, uh, I would know where to go to get some chocolate. We love Swiss and French chocolate. Americans generally, I mean, um, <clears throat> yeah. I just so, so let me know where what I should try uh, and where I might find it. And uh, um, I know that uh, we have some viewers in Australia too. So you know, if any of you guys want me to try anything from there, let me know. The only things I know about are uh, Vegemite and iced Vovo. Is it iced Vovo? Yeah. So, um, you know, let me know. And, uh, hey, everybody out there, thanks for watching.